Okay, so the first thing we want to do when entering a new case for a constituent is to make sure that that constituent is not already in the system. So we can see that John Tester does not exist. If he did, we would have had him in a list here and we could have just clicked on him. Since he's new, we're just going to click on constituents. We're going to click on no. Type his name. Type his address. Type his city. We're going to put in his birth date if he'll give it to us. We need to have an account just to fill the requirements. And we're also going to put him on the newsletter. Yeah, the newsletter is via email, so we need an email address in order to put him on the newsletter. He doesn't want to give us his email address, so we're not going to put him on the newsletter. We're just going to leave him off of it. Now that we've got our constituent entered, we can add a case to him. If the constituent had already existed, then we would have him already in the system, and we could have just clicked on his name and then clicked Add it New Case. Since he doesn't, we'll just add the new case. We're going to say he called us. Uh, we're going to jump straight to Assigned. We're also going to pick the agency that we're going to assign him to. Agency 1 is just a test agency. We're going to pick the request type. We're going to go over the request type test just to be simple. And then we're going to click Save. Now, if for request type we had picked uh, special recognition, we could come down here and add a new type of special recognition. However, since we didn't pick a request type of special recognition, we cannot do that. So now the next thing to do is, since we've marked it as referred to agency one and assigned, we need to change the owner to agency one. And we want to send a notification to that agency user. And then we're going to log out. And then we're going to check our email. And we can see that the case we just created has been transferred to us. So we're going to click on that. And then we need to log in. And it takes us right to that case. However, if we needed to find that case or another case, we could have clicked on the Cases tab and use the referred to agency one view grid or the all assigned cases view grid to find that case or any of the other cases that we're supposed to be working on. Those view grids were based on the referred to field being agency one and the status of assigned for the all assigned cases, limited to what this user has permission to say. So we may want to contact our constituent. So we could do send an email, but he doesn't have an email address. We can create a new task. And these tasks work similar to Outlook tasks, where we can have a reminder set. So there's the little pop-up window to remind us to complete the task. So we just click Edit. We click Complete it. We click Save, and we're done this task. Now, there are also escalation rules set up to send out reminders to this user if he does not complete his work within three, five, and seven days. So to complete his work, he has to click on this Edit button and type in his resolution action and switch the status to Resolved and click Save. Next, he's going to want to assign it back to the user so that created it. And now to finish the agency user's part, we can go down here where we see who the record was created by and their office. And we're just going to copy their name. We're going to click the Change Owner button. We'll search. In case that user was not here, we just search for them. Click on them. Make sure the send notification email is checked. Click save. And now this user is done. Even though the case is still here, because he is no longer the owner of it, or no longer in a queue that owns it, he can no longer see the record that he just finished. 
And even though this record is still referred to agency one, it no longer shows up in the view grid. We can now log out. We now log back in as our admin user. We can click on the record, review this record. If we're happy with this record, we can then close it by clicking on the edit button. We then change the status to closed. We click save and we can now see that the close date time has been populated. Remember to check your junk mail because sometimes these case transfer notices wind up in your junk mail. The same can be said about the escalated emails. Thank you for watching this demo.